Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone, nice to see you again, even if it is to discuss politics. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Articles of Impeachment. So in American politics, we just had two articles of impeachment approved. I thought there would be more. Um, when you think of Trump's buffoonery, you would think there would be lots of them. However, you know, legal matters, uh, for the most part, I think they're going to concentrate on these two. Maybe they think they have the most evidence for it. I had a feeling in my other podcast I did that obstruction of some sort would definitely be one of them. Obstruction of Congress and this abuse of power. That's going to relate to the Ukraine, you know, fiasco. So I still am iffy about this. I have a, you know, there's a part of me that knows what a buffoon or what a clown he is as a president. But there's also a part of me that recognizes when people just go too crazy over him. So I try to be impartial. I even, when I have friends come over, I'll take the side of Trump's uh, behavior or whatever he did just to see if you can find a common ground where, you know, look, he has people around him who are probably, are obviously smarter than him. If not good people, or their ethics are worth shit. But when you look at some of the stuff he's done, you weigh it against the good and the bad. I can see, I guess, why the Democrats want to push forward with this. I'm not still totally gung-ho for it. But like I explained in my other one, my other podcast, Impeachment Inquiry, the least of them seem to be on point and focused on these areas that they're gonna charge him with. And again, Republicans seem to be, this is a witch hunt, this is bullshit. Um, so I'm not really relating to the Republican side of this. I thought that there would be a couple of counter arguments that would have to do with discrepancies in the transcript, what he actually said. But we can hear what he said. We know what he said for the most part. Witnesses are corroborating. But one of the points the Republicans made was about the evidence. So I don't know the name, but he made a big scene of asking everybody. So whoever's here, raise your hand if you have the evidence in particular to this argument he was bringing up. No one raised their hand. So you're still dealing with a lot of hearsay. However, I think the Dems are putting a, a stronger backing against their claims. Republicans seem to be all over the place and trying to make a joke out of it. And then when you look at the subpoenas or people coming to testify, it's obviously been, in my opinion, an obstruction. So. I, I, okay, good. You go through with it. And what's going to happen next? So, is he going to be impeached? Most likely. Will he get pulled? Will he get taken out as a president or removed? Unlikely. Unless there's some persuasive argument that happens during uh, the next phase. But that'll be in the Republicans' hand. So with the Ukraine president, he wanted to go look into Joe Biden's son. That was one of the um, things. And the other one was uh, a conspiracy theory that was quote-unquote debunked about Ukraine's uh, tampering in the uh, 2016 election. So that's going to be his abuse of power. 
the obstruction is just, I think, more evident in the sense of you have all these people that were not testifying, and when they did show up, they would say, um, use my privilege, whatever. Like I said, I'm some idiot from Brooklyn just trying to do my diligence as a citizen now and be more active. Politics fucking suck. You have people being told not to testify. You find out all this stuff about Rudy Giuliani. More people being lumped into this craziness. I don't know about the end of the day. Does he deserve to be impeached? Probably yes. Uh, but it feels like a... I don't know, like a dirty win. Um, like I would want to have the pictures of him doing sad offenses or tape recordings of him. Although we do have the transcripts and the phone calls are there. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a, a true victory in a sense. Maybe it's because I think that it will never get past the Republicans uh, where they hold power. What's good come of this is um, uh, Dirty Donald. So, <laughs> hashtag Dirty Donald, that was funny. Uh, I, I particularly like Forrest Trump, so <laughs> that's my... Uh, Go to nickname for him. I don't think it looks good on our politics. I don't look, think it looks good on our country. And the Democrats' plea for, you know, we're standing up for the Constitution, that stuff holds more weight than the Republican side. And I kind of said this from the beginning. I'm just not rah rah go behind the Democrats. Let's impeach this crazy idiot. I'm more like, all right, I guess you have to do what you have to do. You clearly have more evidence, but knowing people, knowing a little bit more about psychology and human behavior, we're all fucked up. And these people in these power, positions of power are just as vulnerable to all the biases and personality disorders that we all have. And they're up there deciding these things and this is how you get two terms of uh, one president and a big shift. So we have two articles of impeachment. It's still a big shit show. I'm not confident in how the Democrats are portraying it, but I'm more confident than what I see the Republicans doing. They seem to be just wishy-washy, whining brats. I mean, you could handle this professionally and uh, decimate the points that the Dems bring up, but they never do. They obfuscate, they muddy the waters more. When you watch these things, it also, it's just a constant reminder of how fucking crazy it is, politics and what we do is, you know, I guess, Citizens is running around trying to work, pay the rent, put food on the table. We gather our information, we go vote, and a lot of times it's for nothing. I personally believe that uh, corruption is way too rampant in politics these days for a steady, slow solution to this. I think we're going to need a more radical movement. However, we're looking at a interesting point in our lives. You're going to have a first term president impeached, it looks like. That doesn't mean he gets removed from office because that'll be up to the next state of this uh, case, I guess. And there, Mitch McConnell has already uh made himself look like an idiot because you can't just come on the news and do um some interviews and say it's already a foregone conclusion 
We're working with the lawyers with the White House. It's one thing to share information and keep them informed. But to take their lead and to... I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I would rather a Republican come out and say, um, it doesn't look well, we better see some uh, better testimony and more evidence. This is mostly hearsay. Uh, we're going to take this seriously, but whatever. Instead, we got a blatant uh, total party line mentality, which I hate. It doesn't bode well for Republicans ever getting my favor. Although maybe in my youth I was. Uh, or I had favor with them. I can't try to take them seriously for the most part. And Democrats are wearing me thin too. I don't like the bullshit Russia gate nonsense. You had your shot. You had your chance at that. It was a bust. Yeah, we know he's dirty. He's crooked. He's got connections. But you didn't present your case well enough for me. And it just seems like a two-year-old conspiracy. Now we're into this. So maybe that's why I'm a little iffy on this. I still think Trump is a clown. Uh, malignant narcissist. Blah, blah, blah. Add about another six to eight fucking disorders on him. But at times he does what he has to do as a president. I guess this is anybody has to do, no matter what you're, no matter how many dilemmas are going on outside or around you. But for this president, it's the nonstop, just garbage. Everything from allegations to lawsuits to his business dealings to charities and scamming money from them. I think these articles would number in, uh, Double digits if you had a real wacky, crazy Democratic slant on this. But it's bad enough as it is, I think. This is not going to probably work out well for the public. Do I see it impacting the election in a huge way? So let's assume he gets impeached. He... It's cleared in the next phase of this, which is where the Republicans hold sway, the majority. He gets an asterisk on his name, whatever they do. And then he still runs for a re-election. I think it depends on who the Democratic nominee is. I can easily see Trump winning again. Sorry, it's just... People are just not giving a shit. This is how it is. But if you get someone with a good movement or a message that's a little radical, and I'll particularly say Bernie Sanders, which I'm going to do a podcast on because he, he fucking unendorsed Sank Uger, Uger from TYT, Young Turks. I'm going to do a quick a separate one on that. Particularly, I like Tulsi Gabbard. I like Yang. And everybody else I just gave up on for the fact that the more I looked into it, and I mean fact checked, like looked into it, they're shady, wish washy, flip floppers, you know, corrupt. Money means more to them than the people. So if you get any of them going against Trump, I can easily see Trump winning. If he goes against Bernie, Tulsi, Yang, possibly Warren, because people haven't caught on to her bullshit. I'm done with her in that sense, but I could see her being viable, winnable. So I guess that's where I see it going. Because even if someone I think like creepy Joe Biden, who's a horrible fucking candidate, even if he were to be nominated, I think the backlash from this is going to hurt him. Especially him with his involvement in this 
uh, process. His son on that board getting money. Is this gonna hurt our future? Maybe, maybe it'll make us stronger eventually. You know, we we had enough of the nonsense. We had to deal with the lesser of two evils and Hillary Clinton, who, in my opinion, would probably would have probably been worse than Trump. And now we got Trump. It'll sway back and forth over the years. But this will be an interesting time to mark in history. I'm curious to see where this goes. If not a general interest in politics, I do it more for the being an informed person. Make sure I have a decent understanding of what's going on. But this is not a good time, I think. I wouldn't be, well, I'm not super cheering from the Democratic side. Yeah, we got him. This is it. We're going to drag, take him out. It's more like, okay, well, you had to do what you had to do. I would like a stronger case, a, a couple more articles that really hit home and frame it in a better way. And we'll see. I do see a lot of, I guess, Republican viewpoints lately that do try to be unbiased. I just don't wrap my head around the witch hunt narrative. This is a sham. I think I said it before, but you're here now. Deal with it. I think now that I'm even talking about this, that it has to do with them holding the majority in the um I always get confused with fucking the House and Senate. Where it's going next, the Republicans have sway, so they don't give a shit. And if they stick together, they know this is just gonna be another footnote in history. Okay, yo. You had such a vendetta, you have such a hatred of Trump winning that you couldn't control yourselves and you went berserk in the using the government. It's over now, so let's back him and reelect him. I find it ironic that the uh, religious slant backs him. We've got the most unethical, sleazy president ever, and what they've said about other presidents are just minor infractions, but yet they back him. Just shows you how hypocritical and idiots people are. And then the Mitch McGonnells or whatever already just saying it's a foregone conclusion. So I can't see myself giving much favor to the Republican side of this, although I try. And even that's probably biased since I'm just sick of this fucking president. But if you want to cross a fucking line in Korea to make it safer, more power to you. Just don't bow to fucking Saudis who are responsible for 9-11. When you find out our money's going to fucking the same people who were responsible for 9-11, grow some balls and do something about it. No, he wants to run around like a fucking idiot. And to the Dems, get your shit together, focus on it. I guess keep doing what you're doing. You got your two articles now. Obstruction of Congress and abuse of power. You're going to impeach him. You got the numbers, right? Can you make a good enough argument? Or are there enough sleepers in the Republican Party that had enough of him to get him out? I guess that'll be the question. Anyway, I think that'll be it for me. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for joining me. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.